damage from it, so. Does Bad Moon bring him down? So is there a timer anywhere or is it just Yeah, hey, I'm curious about that. Let's see how far that can it, go. It would be quite funny to see you get like 70 hits from just lightning looping forever. Are you allowed to gain meter while you're in Rosenstall? I don't think so. Oh, it oh, it reset. It drops. Okay. Wow, really? That's the best man. Yeah, but you don't see what he writes. Yeah. Hey man, it, it, to be Is fair, huh? Yeah, okay. it's fucking Hibiki. I can read. It, it, it's the, it's this guy's favorite character. Not really. Third like favorite. third favorite, behind Tenryu and Kiso. Wait, third favorite character speaks Russian, so it's Hibiki then? Yeah, it's Hibiki. Okay. Or 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 Vernier. What? Bernie? Isn't that her, her name or like Bernie or something? I don't even remember. I have no idea. I'm just gonna call her Bernie because I like Bernie from Gundam. Yay. <laughs> Alright, David is ready, but Philip has fled. I said David is now ready, but Philip has fled. Okay. So you might as well take over. You might as well just switch. It's, who's, it's uh, your turn to do the training mode. Yeah, you might as well just take control of player two I think and then put him the, on think dummy. What, what loops do you have? Do you have, uh, do you have any lightning loops to practice before your match? <laughs> oh, that's why you're B tier. Got it. Oh, was it grapefruit? They did grapefruit twice? That's weird. I ordered passion fruit. Yeah, they fucked up. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, grapefruit is good. It was the flavor I got. Anyway. All right, so this is our second straight Leo versus uh, Milia match. It's going to be grand finals. Philip coming out of losers is Milia. Yeah. He's going to have to take six games if he wants to take it. But, you know, if there's a, it's not like uh, Tugi is not used to just taking six games. It, it's true. I mean, Philip has come out of losers bracket to win tournaments multiple times in the past. Yeah. He has a, like, 50% track record of it in Uniel, I think. And it's basically the same kind of character, you know? He just wants to uh, <laughs> get you in the corner I and run train on you until you die. I mean, it is a similar character, I suppose. <laughs> Philip, Philip does like this type of character. Yeah. Nice start. Gets the immediate corner, okay. Ooh, burst Early the burst, corner, but, but oh. he gets the counter hit. <laughs> Backdashing, gets the anti-air. Converts it into a corner knockdown. Philip has been so on point this game, or this tournament with his anti-airs. And he's going in for spacings that can't Gets get that hit. overhead. That's good. This is one more hit. Mm. Nice Split block. Shield. Throws it again. Oh, gets that throw. It's it's still really awkward to me not seeing Milia combo her throw. I'm so used to seeing Milia combo her throw. Just like, it's so weird to me. Yeah. It's a foreign concept that she has to do Oki after throw. Because, you know, that keeps her uh, from being really good at this game, right? That's, that's what yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's the difference between, like, 
95 on a test and 90 on a test. Yeah. Either way, your father will be disappointed, right? Yeah, I know. You need to have 100. You need to have 100. By the way, while we were t making jokes about that, Philip died. Philip got crushed that round. He's he, he bursted at some point there, too. I didn't even Ooh, notice that. Wow, just like smashing out of the disc Goki. That was good. Sorry. I, I'm just in the habit of saying 5A when it comes to David pushing buttons. But that was actually 5P. <laughs> it was 5P, but it's similar to 5A. Yes. Philip getting a lot of hits here. Converting. Going to get some knockdown. And a lot of corner carry. David is opting to save Actual his burst. Corner. He oh, really does not want to spend it. Oh, wow. Gets hit by the knee. The knee into oh, the knee. So Gets hit by the overhead. Jumps out though. David dropping a combo. Brett was nice. Like, no, as if he was just watching a horror movie <laughs> about to happen. <laughs> the, 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 the saw moment. Burst out of the corner. Oh wow, the goes pin whiffs. Pin. And he gets five peed for it. That's game one, two acid, bro. David doing a good job so far. The last look test is this weekend, right? Is it? Oh, I didn't so realize it was. Uh, I didn't realize that it was the last one. I, that that'll be interesting to see, I guess. I mean, not like the last look test is often all that representative of the final changes, anyway. No, that's true. ASW has this habit of sort of just doing whatever they want. <laughs> David with a somewhat late burst this round. I don't know. Oh, he does get a hit. Throw up with a good block, good but stop. he gets hit by Stomp. Forces the burst. So they're pretty even when it comes to burst now, so... Oh, the pin! Off. Oh. That's going to be a nice knockdown for Philip again. In the corner yeah, with the meter. disc! But he doesn't block it, but he gets the anti-air! Wow, that was the scramble at the end. Air to air hit. Can't really convert into anything, but, but you it just still get does a lot of damage. Yeah, Leo's hits do so much damage. They really it, do. It constantly boggles Ooh, my mind. Gets hit out of the dive kick. I feel like he's like the Slayer in terms of damage of this game. It's just yeah. high damage hits. R.I.P. Actual Slayer for not being the Slayer. Of yeah, this no, game. Slayer is not the Slayer of this game. Ooh, the stagger stun. <laughs> do another stomp. Is that Catch just going to be it? Hitting a button. The that RC is it. Into the punch. Into Super Ender here? Yep. Okay, that actually didn't. Wow, it reset. Didn't really wow. It didn't work, but it worked. Wow. So Leo's stomp is is the one where if you block it overhead, I mean, his overhead is the thing where you block it overhead, you get staggered, right? I believe so. That is such an awkward mechanic. Ooh, catches him out of the air. Forces the burst really early in the round. And is this going to be the legendary P? All right, one chance, and he just gets hit by falling normal. Two gig shaking his head. Wow, that's a quick two zero. That's, that, so that, that's jump D, the one where he just goes sideways and holds his arms out like yeah. Superman. 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 Yeah. Oh, have you ever seen David's uh, silly ass full guard meter combos? No. So does it involve Supermaning? They involve Supermaning all the way into the corner and then actually <laughs> doing something. Like he just does short hop. Superman. Uh, Superman, short hop, Superman, just run run after them into the corner and then actually press. Oh, this buttons. sounds actually. This it's sounds really pretty stupid. good. It's it's his full guard meter stupidity. Apparently, Leo, full yeah, guard Leo. meter, just short hop, Superman combos. This, well, the thing is that the short hop Superman doesn't actually hit. You just do it to show off while you're just running into Are the corner. Are you serious? Corner. Yeah. Oh, that's hella good. Like if you actually oh, look at David's vine, then he didn't mash out of that fast enough. That's unfortunate. Just get this hit. All right. Can't convert. So now it's very even. Oh, Good that was a nice. RC. Gets the corner knockdown. Goes for the low. Gets it. Corner knockdown. David does not have a burst. This is going to be it. Oh, Gets the, the overhead. overhead. One more. And he gets the low this time. He gets. He got the blitz shield, but unfortunately, but this isn't the new version yet. Yeah, so the, the projectile do does absolutely nothing on blitz shield. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't even know if it actually helps much. Did they fix it? I remember in the first Loke test, it was like, even if you blitz shield the projectile, they have to be like hugging you for it to do anything. Dude, so. in the first Loke test, Faust could do it to himself. It was <laughs> awesome. What? You would, you, would, uh, you would point blank throw the bag, and then you would blitz shield, and they would be, get repelled. 
Really? It was bullshit. It was hilarious. Oh, that sounds amazing. Anyway. But anyway, once again, we looked away and David is doing so oh, much mix up. Oh, he does block and he gets a random special out of it. Yeah, he smashed it. Good throw. Gets his Oki, Oki here. Again. Crosses up. Gets another throw. Hey, One more Oki setup. Ooh, good blow back. That was definitely a good dead angle. One more throw. There is no meter here for, for David. Nice two mash. There, sorry, 2P. I keep wanting to say A. David trying really hard to just get himself out of these Oki setups. Yeah, it, it, that was the classic. Just figure out what's going oh, on. That might, oh, no. Philip going for this. Can't quite convert. Nice hit. Oh, settles it. Oh, this oh, trade. Oh, he throw. gets the throw again. He's been wow. very consistent with Philip that. with like five throws to come back from a pixel. On the brink of defeat, he brings it to 2-1. He's working his way back. Yeah. He's got a long road ahead of him. Oh, a real long road. Five more games if he wants it. And he can't lose any of the next two. Yep. Trying to get that anti-air. Oh, wow, it just gets counter hit. Early burst. Going to get this knockdown. Is there going to be an early burst return? No. David's David manages to, to get out of the corner, though. He does, but he it's been costing him a lot of health. And he's been losing the air game in, th in this round, too. He has been losing the air game. I think the getting out of the corner at the cost of health, to some degree, has actually been working out for him. Because even at the cost of health, when he's mid-screen, it's a lot no. easier for him to work his game plan. So, Ooh. Oh, gets reset. Catches him with the back turn 5P. Oh man, it's so, that's something that's really fast, isn't it? It's like I couldn't tell you. I know that it's not throwable. That's all I know. But I, also, he can't be thrown. So, oh, David just pushing, pushing, gets a hit. <laughs> Philip looking very uncomfortable right now. He has a first, first but and he uses it. And oh my mid -screen, god, mid screen normal blocks. Good blocks. Gets hit by the low. Thing. Oh, that's it. Two perfects in that. Wow, round. that's Leo for you. So, well, tell us again about how fair your character is. Do you think he's not fair? <laughs> <laughs> Answer me honestly, Dom. I'm just joking. You're playing against Melia, who is actually the second best character in the game. Okay, so here, here's a very odd thing. No, she is not second best. She was second. Elfel. She's very good. Anyway. Anyway, don't don't start talking about tier list. Don't start talking about tier list. So, against Melia. Leo is fine. There are some good characters that give Leo a problem. It's not Milia. Milia is what? a fair matchup. What? It's like 5-5. Five, five. What about Elfelt? Elfelt, probably uh, like 4-6. So it's not terrible. I feel like the worst is Faust. Faust is a huge problem. Oh. Um, Soul, huge problem. Those two are actually his biggest problems in my eyes. Ram, maybe. <laughs> uh, I haven't really played enough Ram. But though, like... Yeah. I think Ram is... I think Ram is likely not good. Yeah. Brett's saying probably 4-6. So... Milia is a very good character. Ironically, not a huge problem for Leo. Just fair. So in that matchup, they end up playing totally fair. But uh, I, I'm telling you, Dom, there's no point. There, there's no point arguing tier lists. No one will ever it, agree. It doesn't even matter because it's about to change. So. Oh. That actually, th th this is this is actually the second tournament. I this is the second tournament in a row I won with a perfect. I just realized that. Congratulations. I did it. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm living the dream. We'll change your name to perfect, bro. Yeah. That, that won't last, though. No, it won't. <laughs> that is an, a, a very erratic thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, feeling good about the way my Leo's developing. Still have a long way to go. So what about the mirror? Because James is yeah, so what about the mirror, though? James was despising the mirror, so he so was, didn't feel comfortable at all. The biggest thing about the mirror is, like... You're playing like raw guessing games a lot, so you're playing like really raw fighting games sort of things, but then like the reward gets really weird in that mirror. Because he has a great way to deal with himself in most circumstances. Yeah, like you, you actually countered James's DP twice. Yes I did. And he countered my super once. So like you, you see those sorts of hard choices coming everywhere. I think the mirror is okay. And I think honestly the biggest problem James has is that he hates it. I think it's fine. Like I, I am okay with playing that mirror, so then So you need up next by the way guys. The, I, I play the the match more confidently because I'm not having a bad time. It's really important. Like I did this with Bang a long time ago. Like I had 
problems with matchups because I didn't like them. So like now I, I work really hard to find something that I can enjoy in anything that I'm doing in fighting games, and then mm -hmm. I don't underperform for that. I think it, mental blocks are huge in fighting games. Well, and James is usually a, a guy who gets, you know, he's had tournament nerves really hard for years, yeah. and he's getting over them, but still there. And tournament nerves are, are a different category. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also very important, but... Uh, if you're literally not enjoying a matchup, your brain is more likely to get stuck somewhere. For sure. But yeah. Uh, it's fun tournament. Um, I'm a little surprised that Payne went down early. I never ended up playing in bracket. Yeah, well, um, actually, do you know who knocked him out of winners at all? I would imagine 2 gig if I had to, like, just... So, so that semi yes, loser semis was a... You know, I'm going to look at the bracket, Brad, if you don't mind. Yeah. I, I think it was 2 gig. Um, I don't know... Well, I know that they met in loser semis, so... I don't know if it would have been oh, that. Oh, no. didn't he lose to Orion? Oh, Philip lost to Orion. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's right. So I'm gonna go so look Payne, up who beat Payne. Two gig probably beat Orion. Be Orion beat Payne. Oh, Orion. Beat Orion beat Payne if met in the first round. Orion beat both of them then. Yeah, Orion. Uh, yeah, Orion beat both Payne and Two Gig. Wow. I would have lost money on that, but Orion is definitely getting better. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's he's a very solid player. I mean, he, he made it to lose his finals. The biggest thing he has so much tech, man. Like, you're gonna get hit by some crazy shit whenever you play against him. It's really important to like not be intimidated by the tech because the tech is so solid. Well, I mean, well, also because his he didn't feel comfortable actually going through with his tech. Like, he was like, "All right, I've got a plan. I'm gonna play solo against Leo. We're gonna see what happens." That's and a then good he plan. just. He didn't, a good plan. But he didn't feel comfortable pressing buttons. He just stopped yeah, pressing yeah. buttons against you. Yeah, it's true. It's true. All right, All right I'm so going to jump off the mic. Give it over to you, Neil Commentator. Uh, sure. Good work, everyone. Hey, there take you go, Tony. I don't need both. Have them both. Well, I have, fine, I'll just sit here and keep shooting the shit with you. Yeah. It's not like I'll ever be cold away. Except for dinner. Anyway. Oh, wow, my hair is a mess. What the hell happened to 